Hey guys, welcome to uh, another episode of Sweets in a Boat. Today I'm going to start uh, working on my mid cabin where the uh, port light had been leaking water and destroyed some of the interior. Uh, so I got to take care of that right now. And I already started making, uh, putting in. Uh, so I've been uh, previewing. This is uh, just to mark out where the uh, fuel gauge is uh, over here. I had to take uh, the vinyl and insulation out and also uh, uh, redo the wood there for the port light and also got to work on uh, refurbishing the port light itself uh, making sure it doesn't leak anymore so um, what I'm doing do today put the new wood in and perhaps also start with the insulation trying to glue that up or at least cut it out uh, and prepare for that uh, and then put some new vinyl in and then finish off with the carpet uh, of course, there's more more things I could do here. That's the other port light, uh, right? So it's a very big mid cabin. As you can see some lines over here. That's for the uh, like interior cabinets and uh, some storage. Got to redo that, but it's not a priority right now. The priority is to fix that port light so that it doesn't uh, leak. But enough said about that. So I'm uh, gonna start cracking on this, fixate that wood and go from there. I gotta remove this carpet so I don't damage the new carpet. So uh, let's do it. get uh, get that glue to cure um, then uh, go and have some lunch do some other stuff and catch you in the morning where I can continue with it so it's super windy my cover is like on its way to fall off my neighbors uh, whole frame lap over here a little better got some snow and ice on my swim platform the neighbor's frame has been totally collapsed. So I probably need to put the camera down. Uh, a little bit dangerous here with one hand. Uh, probably find, trying to find a telephone number for my neighbor here and uh, inform him about what happened. And then I need to uh, start securing my cover a little better. This winter has been exceptionally windy. With uh, make it hard, hard to work. So catch you later. All right, guys, back in my workshop and gonna continue working on my, um, this one, try to refurbish that and then 
some hinge missing here and I have some uh, close it up and make a leak test and see if it holds the water and it's ready to uh, be installed in the boat so uh, let's do that it's pretty good So I did a little thing with the hinge uh, and that lock, um, just a proof of concept. I'm gonna upgrade that to more uh, like durable and usable parts, but this is just to try it out. And I put a seal around it. Uh, it's not an original seal. Uh, I'm gonna test this out, uh, but let's leak test this one and see if it holds water. Alright guys, so it started leaking a little bit, uh, probably due to how I mounted that uh, sealant there, or the, the ceiling. Uh, so I gotta redo that, and uh, try again, uh, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna change to another uh, type of uh, ceiling. So I did a little proof of concept there with the um, port light. So I need to cut that uh, piece there and then buy uh, the real uh, little plastic uh, thing so it matches up. I found a store that perhaps has it. So I'm gonna check out, head out there and check it out. Um, and besides that, just continue working on my um, doing that and also reseal that. Uh, so it gets watertight because I had some little, little leakage there. I don't want that to happen. Um, when it's installed with all the new interior and all that. So heading out to the store, finding that little uh, knob there and uh, take it from there. guys as you see I bought a new uh, like lock mechanism here and I constructed my own for the time being just to be able to test stuff but uh, it's pretty similar uh, and it's gonna be tucked away up there with all the cabinets and interior parts and all that so no one's gonna really make taking notice of this so I'm actually gonna do that I'm actually gonna use this and try it out uh, but what I'm gonna do now is try to uh, do this seal again 
Uh, I got some more here, but uh, let's see if we can get it watertight. What I did the last time was a little bit too worse the outer, outer limit edge. What I noticed is that it just got tucked in way too far. So I gotta move it out. Substantial part. I don't know how much you can see, but uh, there is. It's like a half a finger side there so I want this to move out to be able to push that water away uh, so let's try that as the second one and if that doesn't work I don't know what we're gonna do but I guess uh, we'll find something out some water here or no leaking there with some leaking here and uh, perhaps it's, these bends here are not really uh, good what I'm planning to do actually is to put some uh, other sealant just around the, these edges um, to try that out see how it works because I want this to be a hundred percent wasn't much like five minutes with like standing water like a quart of water standing in that uh, inside here I don't know if that's like a realistic scenario but I want it to be 100% so let this uh, dry out get my sealant and uh, just uh, support uh, Support these edges a little bit so that water just doesn't seem to find its way in with a little bit of sealant on the sides so that's it for today all right guys I'm back at the boat it's a brand new day sunny day and it's time for me to continue on my mid cabin so let's go
guys, that's it for this episode. It was super fun doing this window and this wall. I'm going to continue doing the uh, carpet and then also build some uh, interior here. I'm going to make it look super good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And hit that notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.